Welcome to Carol's Journey. My name is Carolyn Smith. I'm your host and executive producer of Carol's Journey. Carol's Journey goes on an odyssey to St. Catharines, Ontario, March the 9th, 2013, at the Salem Chapter British Methodist Episcopal Church. I went there on an invite from my cousin, Rochelle Bush, commonly called Shelley. I was amazed and astounded over the feeling that I felt being able to be there and celebrate Harry Tubman's centennial. One of the reasons why I had this feeling is because my family was one of the families who traveled from the United States over the border into Canada during slavery time under Harriet Tubman's command. So it was a very, very exciting moment for me to be there. I want to give special thanks to Mayor Brian McMullen, Member of Parliament Rick Dystra, and also Member of the Provisional Parliament for St. Catharines, Jim Bradley. Now we will go to the tapes. Jim Bradley is the member of the Provincial Parliament for St. Catharines. First elected to the Ontario Legislature in 1977. Jim Bradley has been re-elected nine consecutive times. He is currently the Minister of the Environment. He has served in many capacities as Minister. He has also served as Interim Leader of the Ontario Liberal Party from November 1991 to April 1992. Before his election to the Legislature, he served as the member of St. Catherine City Council. That was from 1970 to 1977. In addition to all of this, Jim Bradley has supported the BME Church, local black history, and endorsed the 1993 blue and gold Harriet Ross Tubman provincial marker that was erected in the church courtyard. Please welcome our member of provincial parliament, the Honorable Jim Bradley. Richmond Flowers at that time, who 
I was breaking with George Wallace, who had taken a very pro-segregationist, <coughs> a strong segregationist stand, and stood up against the admission of, of uh, Afro-Americans uh, to university, uh, to any kind of integration of any significance in the state of Alabama. And we remember those days well, and the, the song, We Shall Overcome, being sung by so many, and all of us will remember Martin Luther King's most famous speech of I Have a Dream in Washington, D.C., with a million people gathered together. But those individuals who fought those battles were standing on the shoulders of people such as Harriet Tubman, who in the very early days had to make a difference and place their own lives in danger, as those who subsequently fought for civil rights and for humanity, put their, their lives in danger as well. And so we're, we're fortunate here that we on a first-hand basis can learn of and remember and recall and talk about the Underground Railroad and the impact that it had for Afro-Americans who brought into out of slavery and into Canada to freedom. And so I'm uh, very honored to be here on this special occasion today. I have a plaque which I'm going to present to Rochelle, and uh, it reads as follows. And I've incorporated into it not only Harry uh, Tubman, but the very great significance of this church in our community, in our province, in our country. It reads as follows. I would like to take this opportunity in my capacity as a member of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario for St. Catharines to extend to the congregation of British Methodist Episcopal Church Salem Chapel my personal congratulations on the celebration which will be held on Saturday, March 9th of 2013. It is most appropriate that the BME Church is celebrating Harriet Tubman's remarkable accomplishment of guiding those held in bondage to freedom through the Underground Railroad and her significant contribution to the abolitionist movement. Indeed, Harriet Tubman is the most famous and courageous conductor of the Underground Railroad with the majority of her legendary rescue missions, including in St. Catharines. Harriet Tubman eventually settled in St. Catharines, where she became a respected and revered member of the community, residing in our community and worshiping at the BME Church, Salem Chapel from 1851 to 1861. Those responsible for the establishment of the British Methodist Episcopal Church Salem Chapel in St. Catharines 158 years ago identified a need in our community and envisioned a dream for an authentic church community that accepts everyone for whom they are. As a result of countless hours of hard work, faith, and commitment, BME Church Salem Chapel was established and has been a center of spiritual, religious, and social activity for the members of its congregation and for those who have extended the warm hand of friendship as visitors. Please accept my best wishes for future success and my appreciation for your vital contributions to our community and the people you serve. I also want to, as I conclude, uh, I thought that uh, most suitable, most appropriate, that we were to either call out or think of in our minds the names of women who have had profound effect on our own lives, uh, whether it be those who, in our field of politics, led the way, broke new ground, whether it be people in civil rights, human rights, or other endeavors that made an effect, I could think in my mind, and all of us, of course, would have thought of our own mothers as well in that regard. And so, uh, as I mentioned, I am deeply honored to be with you today. Uh, I know many of you who have celebrated various special occasions in this church, and we will all do so for many years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Grace the walls of the church. Mayor Brian McMullen's political career began in 1988 when he was elected to St. Catharines City Council. 
He then went on to represent all of St. Catharines at the regional level when he was elected in 2000 to serve the Niagara Regional Council. He was elected mayor of St. Catharines in 2006 and is currently serving his second term. Mayor McMullen has been a strong advocate for local black history, an admirer of Harriet Tubman, and a true friend and supporter of the BME Church. Recognizing the important role African Canadians played in the development of our city and our country, he established the Mayor's Advisory Committee for Black History because he believes this history is important to all Canadians. Please welcome <coughs> Mayor Brian McMullen. shape our country, our city, and our community. 